now we're on Libra. Okay. All right, Libra, what's coming in for you? Okay, now, so what I'm getting is like the dancing of the maypoles, right? It's like all this wonderful stuff is going on outside, but not engaging in it. So my suggestion to you is letting it in, right? Because we just did Virgo, and that's what it was about. It was like letting the love in, letting whatever's coming in. Okay, it's kind of a connecting energy here. Okay, so if you feel like things aren't fair, right, that can be the reason why things aren't coming in or feel like, well, that could cause you not to see it. All right, now, I just did the cancer uh, part two. You might go see that one. Okay, because they had an Empress and the Justice card. And it was feeling like not sure of which one to go towards. And if you feel like things aren't working out for you and not fair, that could be the reason why um, you feel like nothing's being offered to you. Now, sometimes when all the cards come like this, it's like sometimes looking from the heaven realms to see from a different point of perception to how to bring the celebrations and good times again, how to feel like things are balanced and fair, um, and how to bring in a new union with someone you see as your match. Now, in the split is two of cups. Let's take that. Because I feel like that's what's trying to come out. And here's judgment right after that. So that could be... Okay, so there's a past life person here. This could be a Taurus card, but this also could symbolize you harmonizing with your feminine divine energy to bring in balance and, and um, stability in your life. Now, for some of you, you could have been seeking it outside of yourself through earth energy. So that could be a Virgo, Capricorn, and Taurus. Okay. Now... It's coming up again, but in some energies, there was like a retrograde of um, like Ceres and Maki Maki energy. That would be like wanting to go back to the past to see if you could reconnect and, and heal or harmonize um, the past. Okay. Now, I feel like whoever it is, you get excited about uh, going towards them. But then you hold yourself back for one reason or another. And it could just be because you have a lot not managing your stress well. Okay. And all it takes is open communication. This is like uh, Piscean energy when it's reversed. And so you could have been hiding it when you really needed to be communicating. This is fast communication. And it could have been also that the earth energy, whoever you were dealing with, went within and shed light on some things and communicated some things to you that didn't feel so good to you. Okay. You could have felt like uh, it wasn't just. Okay. But through open communication, there can be this wish fulfillment here. You may have to travel 
to them. But the thought of that sometimes causes you to weeble wobble. Because perhaps you weren't completely honest with them about where your connection was going. And so they chose to be solo. But from your standpoint, they're just partying and have a, having a good time when really they've been trying to figure out a way to come come to you or they're they lost patience but really they wanted to come towards you because they see you as passionate now there could have been some negative things around money that had you in your head the improvement is coming and because of that non-communication they were in their feelings when really they wanted victory with you someone whether it's you or them is working uh, to build on this connection they want it okay and it's all possible. It may take courage, right? Okay. Positivity. Okay. For it to fully manifest. And bring it all together like the way you imagined it. Okay. There's some sort of heartbreak energy here. Let's take a look at that. What is the heartbreak? Is that abandonment? Feeling abandoned? All right, let's see. Inspiration, interpretation, and trust. Okay, so it's going to require to be able to trust again. If you were divorced, if you were divorced, well, I'm sorry, I got caught on this green here because like in another spread, there was this uh, green leaf foliage on a book or something. It, it was reminding me of that... Uh, uh, Ivy, um, the character Ivy, Poison Ivy. Okay. And here it feels, it doesn't feel like Poison Ivy. It feels like, um, more like lime leaves. So what is that? Asian? That goes in like, um, Thai dishes, right? Or kefir lime, lime pie, key lime pie. Huh. Okay, so take a look at your belief system, right? What are you repeating to yourself in your mind? What are you saying to yourself every day? Can you change that? Can you uh, focus in a, in a way that's going to help you move out of the past? Because I think you know whoever you want to go towards is your soulmate. Okay. And you have the ability to call it in. But it always seems like it's some sort of balance. So you got to figure out what you're going to give energy to and how much time you're going to give to each thing. Stability standing firm. But now you know what you really want. But then even then it's like, okay, this is what I want. 
and then it uh, feels like then you question it. And that just could be because your sun sign is Libra. And it's like weighing out the scales. So there could be a lot of thinking when there really could just be in this compassionate energy. Grace. Woo, power of self-love. Okay, so if you divorce, that could have been the journey of finding yourself and finding that deep love for yourself. Okay, and so I'm getting kind of like the superficial energy. It's like, it's not about um, feeling deep love for the external of how you look. It's more of like, Loving your beautiful heart, loving deep in your soul, your heart space, that kind of energy, okay? And through that emanation, your pathway lights up. You move into abundance and fortune, wealth and plenty. And that moves you in a place of abundance rather than feeling a lack where there is reverent appreciation and prayer, right? Prayer could just be saying affirmative things that uh, are positive for you. Okay. Ooh, and through that energy also, there is this creative energy that can also flow through you. And sometimes if you you can receive energy, right, and you pull in uh, messages and things like that, um, you can always just be a witness to it. Is this mine, right? You could ask yourself that. Is this mine or is this just uh, some uh, band of energy that I pull from the ethers, right? You can always uh, figure that out. from darkness to light okay so uh the light the lighter days are here okay panther energy okay so this is the energy that decisive focus it's like one pointed focus towards what you want instead of uh, going back and forth right i think i did one reading it was like he loves me he loves me not she loves me she loves me not it's like Go there to the point, experience it, and if it's not, keep moving like that. Okay, let's close out. <laughs> okay, so, okay, so if you're just doing like a lot of texting or a lot of uh what is that called skype okay or something like that it's time to really hone in and connect okay beyond the internet right okay beyond texting once upon a time so it's like people stop calling even right they just text all the time sometimes Hearing the voice is so nice, and then you don't read in between the lines, right? Okay. Once upon a time, there was a boy who loved a girl, and her laughter was a question he wanted to spend his whole life answering. Nicole Krauss, History of Love. And I feel like that is the journey. And for some of you, this is reconnecting with a soulmate. I'll leave you with that. <laughs>